Today we are ranking Harry Potter characters and we're gonna do this in a different way from how we would typically do it. We're gonna do it books as well as movies. So this is just a movie tier list right here, but we're gonna incorporate the book characters and how I feel about the book characters. So we're gonna start with the very own Harry Potter himself. We're just gonna go right down this list. Harry Potter is an obvious one. You might not like him. He's a little divisive and a little controversial, but he is the one who lived, the boy who lived. So I can't really dispute that one to be completely honest. Hermione is also a one who lived. There is no other tier that you can put Hermione in. She is, without her, the other two would have been dead very quickly. Hermione is a one who lived. This might be controversial, but they're the golden trio. I cannot put them anywhere else. Ron is one of my favorite characters in the entire series. I love him to death. He's way better in the books than in the movies. Even though Rupert Grint is phenomenal in the movies, he is way, 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 way better in the books than in the movies. Now is where the list gets a little tricky. Here we go. Ginevra Weasley. She is one of the hottest tamales in the entire book series. But in the movie series, it brings her down a little bit. So I'm going to put her as an Auror. She's great. She's a hot tamale. She's very fiery and spicy and great. But movie Ginny just doesn't do it for me. Fred and George Weasley. Dang. I'm putting both of them as Aurors. Because they're brilliant and people don't really realize they're brilliant, if I'm being completely honest. Some people would put them a little lower. Some people would put them a little higher. I'm tempted to put them as headmasters and headmistresses. But you know what? We're going to keep them there. My next one's going to be very, very controversial. Percy does not belong in the Percy's category. He belongs in the prefects category. And this is the reason that he belongs in the prefects category. Because obviously he was a prefect, but that doesn't matter at all. But he was, he's my least favorite character in the whole series or was until I just reread the series again. And I was talking to some people about this and someone said his background is really fascinating. And to see what he would become later in life after he realized he kind of like abandoned his family, he kind of came back. His future story is really intriguing to me. Someone actually equated him to a Dumbledore like kind of person where he learns from his mistakes and ends up being this brilliant, brilliant, brilliant wizard. So for that reason, we're gonna put him in the prefects category. His brother is gonna get put in the prefects category as well. He is a grizzled, he got bit by a werewolf. He is dating and got married to arguably the hottest person in the entire book series. So for that reason, we're putting him here. Doesn't get a lot of book time. Doesn't get a lot of movie time. Although, you know, I'm going to bump him up one higher because he is in one of my favorite movies of all time after time or after time about time, which is a fantastic movie. So we're bumping him up here. Molly Weasley. Mm. Molly Weasley. Not my daughter you that's the reason we're placing her as a headmaster and headmistress i love arthur weasley with everything in me he's great especially the one sequence when in the chamber of secrets when they talk about the cars and he asks how it went his actor is really great i love him but that's probably the highest level he doesn't have a ton of involvement in the books dumbledore our good friend dumbledore He's a headmaster. He's great. I love him with everything in me. Such an intriguing character. Should have told Harry maybe a little bit more. Has a few too many secrets, which I mean, we all have secrets in our life, but Dumbledore may be a few too many secrets. Hagrid. is a headmaster and a headmistress. It's going to be very hard to get into this group of the ones who lived, by the way. Very, very difficult to get into the one, the ones who lived. 
Hagrid is the absolute support for Harry. He is one of the greatest characters in the entire series. He is such a supporter, such a helper, such a good friend and father figure to Harry. Easily belongs in the headmaster and headmistress's category. Our very own Severus Snape. If you have not read the series, stop here because this is going to be spoiler. But he belongs there. I know that's a very controversial thing. I know that is a very, very, very controversial thing to put him that high because he is one of the most divisive characters in all of literature. But I think he is one of the most complex characters in all of literature as well. And Alan Rickman, who has passed away, did excellently as Severus Snape. So he belongs in the headmaster and headmistresses. And he was a headmaster for a little bit, so he just kind of fits there. He's a Percy. Although, you know what? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to put him that high. I'm going to put him... Uh, I keep wanting to put him higher. He, When he comes out in Goblet of Fire, he's all like... Gooey and, you know, sexy. He's, he's great. His performance, Fine's performance is incredible, which is why he's not all the way down there. Sirius Black, this might be controversial as well. I love Sirius Black so much. I think he's a great character. Has a lot of immaturity and a lot of things that he needs to work through. This man needs therapy. Had he been in therapy, he probably would have been a headmaster or a headmistress. But he did not have therapy. But he was in prison though, so. Neville. My favorite character in the whole series. Easy. He was the one who could have been. I love that. And he is so dear to my heart. He's got a pocket full of bubblegum wrappers. If you don't know what that means, read the books. It's one of the most impactful things in the entire series. For me, at least. I love him. Mick G. Mick G belongs in the Auras category. She's not quite a headmaster or headmistress, even though she was a headmistress. I love her to death. She's a fantastic teacher. Hogwarts bleeds Hogwarts through and through. True Gryffindor. Love her to death. But she just doesn't outrank some of these characters. That's an easy one. She's evil. She's the worst. I hate her with everything in me. She is evil personified. Stephen King once said that there's there hasn't been a better written villain than Dolores Umbridge since Hannibal Lecter or something like that. I forgot exactly what who he said, but Moody. I love Moody. He's great. But it's not really great if you let someone steal your body for an entire year and teach your students. He's got the eye. He's very, very gifted. He's got a lot of scars. He's a cool dude. But he's part of the Inquisitorial Squad. That's an easy one. He's the worst. I hate him with everything in me. He is evil, evil, evil. Fudge, another one who is absolutely evil. I don't like people... Um, who are just doing things for power and seeking just fame and yeah, he's just a power. He was a, he's a power monger. He's power hungry. And I don't like that. Another easy one. He is a Percy. I'm a Hufflepuff. So his disloyalty to his friends infuriates me. I hate him with everything in me. Our very own Dobby. Dobby belongs right next to Sirius because Sirius didn't treat house elves with a lot of respect. So Dobby belongs right here, right next to Sirius. So Sirius maybe treats him with respect. Draco Malfoy. Ooh, this is a tough one. I'm going to put Draco Malfoy in the Inquisitorial Squad. We're right where he belongs. He's, he's an Inquisitorial Squad. Um... I actually love him. Tom Felton is incredible. Tom Felton is one of the greatest characters. One of the he did so good in um Half Blood Prince. He was such a great actor in Half Blood Prince. But, you know, that's where he belongs. Dudley. He doesn't think Harry's a waste of space. Need I say any more? Oh, I love this man with everything in me. Slughorn belongs in the aura category. He is devoted 
He's a good Slytherin. Even though he just likes, you know, he's a leech with famous people. I love him. I love him so much. Luna. May we all aspire to be more like Luna. She's a headmaster and headmistress. Someone who is unapologetically themselves. She is a fantastic human being. A fantastic witch. I love her with everything in me. Cedric, I love him. He's great. A true Hogwarts champion. A Hufflepuff. I am very proud of Cedric because Hufflepuff is my house. And he is a Hufflepuff. He is the true Hogwarts champion. He belongs in the order category. Too bad the band isn't playing right now during his death. Petunia should be here. But I'm going to put her in the Inquisitorial Squad. One little thing of redemption for her is what she could have said to Harry. She looked like she was going to say something at the very end. I'm really curious in the books what she would have said. I think that would have been fascinating. This might be blasphemous to some of you people. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Okay, I have to do this. I'm putting creature in the aura category. And I'm I'm swapping Davi and I'm putting Davi in the aura category too. House elves deserve better. I love creature. I don't love him that much in the books. In the movies, I don't love him that much either. But I think he has one of the most compelling redemption arcs in the entire story of Harry Potter. So I am going to rank him as an aura. Barty Crouch. I don't like this guy. He's a Percy. He doesn't really do much. He just seems like a boring government worker. I don't like boring government workers. He belongs there. I would rank Filch here, although I'm going to rank him in the Inquisitorial Squad, kind of because he was part of the Inquisitorial Squad as well. And um, because there's a theory that is rolling out in fandom that Peeves, the poltergeist, is an amalgamation of all the mischief at the school. And Mr. Filch, Argus Filch, is an amalgamation of all the behavior and groundskeeping of uh, of the school. So he's not real, although he is real. He's a squib. He's a really interesting character, though. But I don't love him, so he belongs in the inquisitor- inquisitorial squad. Crumb, the youngest seeker of a generation, trying to get all the ladies. Um, yeah, he belongs here. Um, and the reason he belongs here is because of his character arc as a Quidditch seeker. He lost the Quidditch World Cup during Goblet of Fire. Devastating. He ends up retiring from the sport later in his life, only to come back another year later and wins the Quidditch Cup for Bulgaria. I love a good sports story. Victor Crumb belongs there. Although, getting imperious in the last task is a bit of a downer. She's my favorite actress in the whole series. She is an absolute marvel. Emma Thompson is just the absolute best. I love her so much. And I believe that everything that she says is right. It's a very niche theory in Harry Potter, but I believe that everything that she says Every prophecy that she has is correct. Gilderoy Lockhart. We got to move quick for this because this is getting wild. Gilderoy Lockhart belongs here. He's not evil. Like these characters are evil. He's actually, he kind of is. He's a Percy. He obliviates people. He's terrible. Um, There is one thing on my list right now that is just glaring out at me and I need to correct it. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my mind. Sirius belongs here. I was wrong about that before. Sirius belongs... He really belongs one ring higher, but maybe I'll put him run one ring higher as we go on. Floor. I love Floor. Floor is my uh, book crush. Obviously, because she's a Vila, half Vila, or quarter Vila. Right? Quarter Vila. And she's incredible. She's a great witch, but she just doesn't do great in the tasks, which kind of hurts my feelings a little bit. I would have loved to see someone from Bobaton really doing well into tasks, but she comes in fourth place. So that's where she belongs in the Inquisitorial squad. Um, Lucius Malfoy. Fascinating character. I would have loved to see him have a little bit of a redemption arc, but I feel like his character didn't really need 
or didn't wasn't really capable of a redemption arc kind of actually that's a weird thing to say i feel like everyone's capable of a redemption arc but i don't know why i'm putting him here rather than at the bottom but i don't know maybe jason isaacs is just a great actor too his his performance in the, that movie was wild in the second movie he almost kills harry by saying avada cadaver in the end of the movie movie crush book crush she's the best i love her with everything in me uses fiend fire and almost kills everyone in the school hate him he was selling drugs the last movie and got cast out of the last movie which is why he's not in the last movie he belongs there she really belongs here i kind of want to put her here i'm gonna put her here because helena bottom carter is an incredible actress she is fantastic she is phenomenal the first time I read the books, I had a massive crush on Cho. Every time I read that series, I got all hot and steamy. She was incredible. But the more I've read them, the more I don't like Cho that much. I remember the first time I read it, how much I was trying to get to sections that she was in because I just had a big crush on her. Dean, he's cool, but he's not like that involved. And he also thinks Hagrid breeds the centaurs. And he tells Ferenz that. Did Hagrid breed you? Which is just an all-time rough line, an all-time rough take. This is one of the people I identify most with. I love Oliver Wood so much. He's an athlete. He goes and plays professional afterward. He comes back into the Battle of Hogwarts. Small little thing to note. If you watch the last movie, he and like the whole big Battle of Hogwarts, when Harry, Ron, and Hermione are running away and the beautiful music is playing, there's broomsticks that fly, and he is the one that says, hey, come on. And he brings other people on broomsticks, and they're going to fight. Love that. Um, maybe this is really controversial. Actually, no, he, he kind of belongs here. James Potter. He's a little bit of a bully. Um, Harry really loves his mother more than him. I think more than his dad. Maybe that's a weird thing to say, but, uh, maybe that's just because I love his mother more than I love him. He's a little bit of a bully, a little bit mean, doesn't really have a ton of compassion, but has a better story later in his life. So he belongs there. Rita Skeeter. She, so most people would put her here. Some people would put her here. Not a lot of people would put her here. I'm going to put her here because I do think she's not a bad journalist, to be honest. I think she spews a lot of lies and she just is like trying to get some fame. But what other journalist is doing the same thing that her? Elphia Stoge is not telling the truth in the same way that she's not really telling the truth for some things. But she's a great writer. So she belongs there. Seamus, I would put him here because he's like, He's to, to me, he's like a minor-ish character, but I'm going to put him here because he has some funny lines. Um, when the one, I think it's in this scene that he's pictured in, where he goes, where Ginny runs into the room and Ron goes, it's like I'm a Frankie first year. And Seamus has a really funny line where um, he goes, oh yeah, she's got lots of brothers, but only one Harry. It's a cute little line. Um, this guy... Um, I'm going to put him here. Some people, because he's a Death Eater, he belongs there. He's just out fighting for his guy, Victor Crumb. Um, Karkaroff, he's an interesting character in the books. A little creepy. But he doesn't really want to go back to Voldemort. So I'm actually going to place him one higher. Um, yeah, I don't really have much to say about her. She's a little bit annoying in the book sometimes, but she's there. Um... I'm going to play Scrimger here and then I'm going to boost him one higher and put him here mainly because I think um, his performance in the movie was fantastic. And one of my favorite scenes in the movie is him saying your ministry remains strong. I think that's a really powerful moment in the movies actually. Dung Fletcher belongs here. Great actor in the series. He's like a little grease ball, but um, he doesn't really do much else. Woo. Um, scares me. Legitimately scares me. That's all I'll say about that. This guy is a dueling champion. You don't want to catch yourself one-on-one -on -one in, a, in a dark corridor with Professor Flitwick because he will end you. He was a dueling champion in his day. That's all I'm saying. You just don't want to cross him. Same actor, but he belongs here. Double cross them. 
Don't like that at all. Again, I'm a Hufflepuff. You stay loyal. You belong in the Percy's. Angelina Johnson. For the, the other day, I learned that uh, George marries An Angelina Johnson. So I'm going to place her next to George. She's a babe. She's an absolute smoke show. She's fantastic. Um, I, she like kind of a, not necessarily an inconsequential character, but a small little minor character. I would put her here, but she has a really brilliant moment, uh, acting moment in the fifth movie when Ron goes, does anybody else have a problem with Harry? And she nudges or her sister nudges her because they still have a Yule ball thing. So I'm going to put her one higher. Lily, lovely Lily. Actually, she is the one who lived, even though she died. <laughs> she belongs here because I was talking to some people about this. She is truly the only pure character in the books. And it goes very similar to how Harry just remembers her as a pure character and everyone else remembers her as a pure character. Sometimes the people who die young are known for everything good that they've done and all their purity. And she truly has a pure heart is great. He's just seeking power. He's weak. I don't like him. She is should be a registered sex offender um why she's in the hogwarts castle with a bunch of students when she just creeps on them in the bathroom is beyond me banish a student from hogwarts banish a ghost from hogwarts she should not be there that is absolutely dreadfully disgusting Ollivander, a little bit more warm and welcoming in um actually no he's not really more warm and welcoming in the books maybe a little bit but uh he kind of just belongs there. He's old, frail, great wand maker. I love wand makers. He kind of belongs there. Katie Bell, dang. You had one of the scariest scenes in the entire movie. So right there. I'm sorry that you would endure that. She kind of abandoned Hagrid. I mean, I hated the giant's tale. That was one of my least favorite parts of the entire book. But she kind of ditched Hagrid. One of the greatest sports commentators that the wizarding world has ever known. Potterwatch Phenom. This guy is, is destined for broadcasting greatness. I love Kingsley. Kingsley is a headmaster and headmistress. He is just... He's fantastic. Actually, I'm going to bump him down one. Because I look at this tier and I don't know if he belongs necessarily in that tier. He's a great wizard fantastic wizard love him to death but not quite in the headmaster or headmistress tier this guy just going off biting people a lot of people in this list need therapy he is one of those people pomona sprout i love her so much i would put her here but my love for plants boom bumps her un up one and then my love for her as just a, a human being she is hilarious in all of her interviews She's the headmaster and headmistress. Maybe this is controversial. Some people would put her here. Some people would put her here. Some people would here. I'm going to put her here. She's out seeking her son's and her family's survival. She is the glue that is holding the Malfoys together. And she essentially foils the Dark Lord when she says, Is my son alive? And Harry nods. And she says he's dead. Fantastic. Love her. Night bus. I don't know why Harry defends him so much after one interaction that they've met with each other, but he belongs there. A little bit too much of a fondness for goats, a little bit too jaded, but he had a love for Ariana that I really, really respect and value. He belongs there. Colin Creevy. I love Colin. He belongs here. He's great. Mathilda Bagshaw. I love a good magical historian. I would love to teach ma history of magic. Um, but she is a very minor character and she got possessed by a snake. So I'm going to bump her down one. Actually, she wrote Hogwarts, a history and a history of magic. So I'm bumping her up one. Um, this man is a really annoying person in the books. He's a lot more annoying in the books than the movies, but because he's so fantastic in the movies and because I think he is part of the most moving scene in the entire film franchise, he belongs here. Oh, easy. She is the worst. She is just a muggle version of her. 
Um, I don't care that much for the fat lady. She's funny. I think it's a little insensitive that they just call her the fat lady. She belongs here. Yeah, she belongs there. When, especially in the movies when she's like, somebody grab him. I hate her. And our very own Lupin. Lupin belongs as a headmaster or a headmistress. He is fantastic. One of the greatest teachers that they've ever had. He is just so spectacular. And I love him till the day that I die. So here's our list. This is our list of ranking all the Harry Potter characters. I am the definitive source of Harry Potter ranking. So this is the, this is the definitive list. So I'm sorry if you disagree with me, but you're wrong. And this list is perfect. Actually, I don't know if this list is perfect. I need to go reevaluate. 